Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be doing another deck profile. It's going to be of my Shooting Quasar Synchron deck. So, as always, we're going to start with the monsters, then we'll do the spells and the traps and the extra deck. And I will also be posting another video of the combos that you can do to get out Shooting Quasar Dragon and also Shooting Star Dragon in one turn. Uh, that'll be a different video though. So I'll start with the deck profile now. Three Junk Synchron. If you don't know what this guy does, uh, he can special summon a level 2 or lower monster from your graveyard when he's normal summoned. So he's a very quick synchro, usually for a level 5, so he's really good. Quick draw synchron, one of the best cards in the deck, makes all of your combos possible, so he's really good. 2 unknown synchron, this guy can special summon from your hand, but really he's just used as part of the one turn shooting quasar dragon combo. Synchron Explorer, two of them. And we have two Doppel Warrior and two Quillbolt Hedgehog. Two Level Eater. This guy is also very important for a lot of the combos that you can do in the deck. One Tuning Wear. One Dandelion. One Spore. Uh, Spore is included because you can do a pretty cool combo with him and Dandelion to bring out Shooting Star Dragon and also he's just good in general when you have Dandelion in your graveyard. And we have two Effect Failures and one Gores as we don't run too many traps in this deck so Gores is always good backup. That's all of the monsters. So going on to the spell cards. So the main searcher of the deck is three Tuning. This card adds a Synchron Tuner monster from your deck to your hand, and then you got to mill the top card of your deck after. It's a really good card. We also have Reinforcement in the Army, just for a little bit more search power. Normally you're going for a Junk Synchron with this card, but you can also go for Doppel Warrior. Pot of Avarice. Monsters accumulate in the graveyard in this deck very fast, so this is obviously a good inclusion. We got one Mind Control. Steal your opponent's monsters and Synchro with them. Kind of amazing. One for one. There's a lot of one stars in this deck, so it's definitely a good thing to have this card in the deck. And we got Foolish Burial. Three Mystical Space Typhoon. Uh, I'm running three because this is a combo deck and you don't want your opponent to have things like Solemn Morning or Bottomless Trap Hole when you're going off for your combos. We also do have Heavy Storm for the same reason. Then we got one Monster Reborn and a Dark Hole to round up the staples. And that's all the spell cards. Now, as I said before, the trap lineup is very light. We're only running five traps in this deck. We got one Mirror Force, two Torrential Tribute, and then one Solemn Warning because it's limited now since March, and then also one Solemn Judgment. So that's the main deck. Gonna go on to the extra deck now. So one Formula Synchron. Um, this guy, you obviously need him to make your shooting Quasar Dragon and your shooting Star Dragon, so 100% necessary. One Armory Arm, sometimes you gotta be a little awkward and go into a 4 star. Also this guy's effect is really good, I actually go for him quite a bit and he does do a lot of work for me. We got Alley of Justice Cataster, just a staple. Junk Warrior, uh, this guy is needed for the Quasar combo that you can get him off with three cards in your hand and also his effect is pretty good you can boost him to a pretty good attack power when he comes out most of the time TG Hyper Librarian this guy's your best friend in your extra deck he'll make you draw a ton of cards in this deck Junk Gardna and Flameville Uraquasis um, honestly there's not a lot of good level sixes anymore that you can just make with any deck and this guy does inflict piercing damage and raises his attack whenever he does light point damage to your opponent. So I think he's a decent level 6. I mean, there's obviously not any really good ones like Brionic anymore, so that's why I chose him. Junk Berserker. Uh, I use this guy over Junk Archer most of the time, but when I'm playing a deck that I know exceeds a lot, I side this guy out for a Junk Archer because Junk Archer's effect is really good against exceed monsters. Then obviously Black Rose Dragon, it's a staple in the Synchro deck. 
Junk Destroyer, Road Warrior. Uh, this guy is also part of your Shooting Quasar Dragon combos. We got Stardust Dragon, Mist Worm, when you need to clear your opponent's field. And the last two cards are obviously your Shooting Star Dragon and your Shooting Quasar Dragon. So that's it for my deck profile. I'm going to be posting another video shortly with the combos that you can do to get this guy out in one turn and also sometimes this guy out and maybe a couple other combos that you can do with this deck that are pretty cool. So as always, just rate, comment, subscribe, anything, leave your, um, any suggestions that you have for me on what cards I should or shouldn't include in my deck, and um, thank you for watching.